Hello, this is Gary Wisham, the disgruntled human. Uh, this might be a little bit of a ramble, but please bear with me. Normally, I hate philosophy because there's no shortage of pseudo intellectuals who love to hide their prejudices and biases in the guise of philosophy. They can jabber on for hours on end and when you ask what the fuck was that about they'll look at you and say well if you don't understand you don't understand philosophy I am philosophical you're my intellectual inferior because you didn't understand the magic words I was doing but I still have these thoughts in my head and I've been turning one around for a while now I'd like to get you, the general public's opinion on this. Behavior modification. At what point does it really become harder? Bear with me. I consider myself the sum total every experience I've ever had. Everyone in my life that's made an impact on my life and me making an impact on them and the collective memories up to this point has made me the person I am. Now I have an extreme example. I have rage issues which in the past was if I had not made a supreme effort, would have landed me in jail or in an insane asylum. But it was my choice to change. Something bad happened and it jarred me to the back to the point where I made a really hard effort to change my outlook. But when somebody's choice is removed, and behavior modification is inflicted on them, at one point does it become killing the person that they are? See, if, if the change was forced upon me back in my younger self, I think on some level it would have been murder. If the choice was not mine to make anymore, it would have been killing the Gary Wishon that I was. I hadn't killed anyone and But if the choice was removed from me, then what point does it become murder? When choice is removed, as far as behavior modifications, removed for people, at what point does it become murder? Like with, uh, uh, I can't believe that. I can't believe anyone thinks this. Gay therapy. <sighs> Never in my life have I ever came home after a long day and said to myself, Wow, Gary, you did a good job of not sucking all those dicks. It's not a choice. Some people are just born gay. Don't fucking switch it around and start talking about pedophilia. A is A. I'm talking about people making consent choices. Now, when their loved ones, supposedly loved ones, try to take the choice away from them, try to modify that choice, try to modify the person because 
I can't even begin to describe it. At what point are they trying to kill the person that they supposedly care for? What person, what kind of person would be on the other side of that experience? Give me your opinion. Down below. Please and thank you. Till next time.